Hi everybody, Philip Rodiker here, John L. Scott, how you doing? As I promised last week, I'm gonna be bringing to you today a market um, update and a spring prediction of how the spring's gonna go. Uh, a lot of people see what's going on out there. The market's been very, very tight. Um, this last year, year over year, our, um, our house values have gone up from 660 to 745. That's huge, that's uh, 90,000, $80,000, $90,000 appreciation in one year. That's huge. Uh, the other thing that we saw is foreclosures in our area are down 82%, 82%. So people right now are doing um, what are called forbearances, forbearances right now. Uh, currently what we have in the uh, delinquency uh, in the um, area right now, the national delinquency is running at about seven to 8% of the mortgages. It doesn't sound like a lot, um, but that equates to almost 4 million houses right now that are in what we call forbearance. Um, uh, currently, the forbearance market is at, um, current numbers right now are at 367, which is very high. Last time we had this um, forbearance issue going on back in 2000, looks like eight, nine, they were at 4.8, so 4.8 back there, and we're at now at 3.7, 3.57. So the thing to say is that we're very close to where we were last time the market crashed. Um, when that happened, okay. Um, the other thing too is that our our uh, our, uh, our, our our foreclosures right now are down um, 85%. So that's a decline from um, uh, 2019 to 2020. Um, the other other statistic that's kind of um, putting some pressure on us right now is the uh, uh, delinquency rate following any kind of a natural disaster. And this one, I just want to show to you guys. I don't know if you can see that graph right there. I'll bring it up so you can just see it a little bit right there. Okay, what we're looking at in that is this top line. There's a top line that's going straight right here. There's some bottom line down here. This one's going straight over here, if you can see that one. Um, what we're talking about here is the delinquency rate after any kind of natural disaster. And we're talking about Hurricane Harvey. We're talking about Hurricane Irma. We're talking about COVID-19. These are like natural disasters. Right now, the delinquency rate is 300% higher than when we had those other natural events going on. Um, same thing with uh, the, the uh, forecast for the future is that they're going to continue to stay there. What the government did this last week, we had, we had the, the forbearance on mortgages until December, then they moved it to March. And now the government said that if anybody has applied for a forbearance on their property up to February 28th, they have the ability to extend that for six months needed and an additional six months after that. So forbearance right now could be all the way into February of 2022. So we're gonna have this tight market for a while um, without, the, without the natural uh, you know, replenishing of the inventory, especially in the first time home buyer uh, area and foreclosures unfortunately are part of that. Um, it's gonna be difficult to try to get that bottom in uh, a backfill and then uh, when you start looking at um, how how um, buyers move in the marketplace you have your first time buyer your second time buyer then you have your third time buyer which is your which is your retirement buyer second time buyer is the one that stays the longest 20 years in their house that's where they raise their family first time is the stepping stone to get there if the if the foreclosure market slows down it slows down those first time home buyers the other thing that's slowing down is the new construction New construction slowing down because of the permit process and the available land, there's just not a lot of it. And we need that uh, new inventory coming into the marketplace. COVID's created it, all different kinds of stuff. County departments are, are moving slower. And so they're just not getting it out fast enough. And without replenishing the market with that new construction, those second time home buyers, you know, first time home buyers into second time, they have nowhere to go. So it kind of like just I guess it just logger jams and we can't get anything forward and it makes it difficult for, for people to know uh, where to go. And so it puts pressure on there. Um, with that, because there isn't a lot of available inventory right now, our inventory is down uh, considerably, that uh, the actual rate of appreciation on properties right now is 15.7%. That was last year. Last time it went up this high was 2006, it went up 16%. Uh, in 2006, so we're at the highest rate of appreciation since the last boom that we had in uh, 2006. Um, the thing with 2006, though, is that there was a correction. The market corrected 15% and then came back. We don't feel the same correction is going to happen because the banks know now what to do to help ease ourselves back out of a situation like this 
where before in 2006, they didn't have the knowledge of what to do. So they just did foreclosures and that was not the right way to go. So now they've got other plans in place for forbearance and whatnot. Okay. Um, right now this year, normally when we start out the year, um, we have January and February, March are usually our busiest months, April, May in the spring. And then after May, the market tends to drop off. It drops off because the kids are out of school, vacationing and all that, but we've had a different year this year where people are actually looking for homes, for homeschooling, for work at home uh, uh, environments. So we're seeing um, less pressure on the inner city in the metro area. There's less, there's less purchasing there and there's more purchasing in the uh, suburban areas right now. So the outlying areas of Maple Valley, Black Diamond, um, we're seeing some of the areas in Auburn, uh, some uh, Milton right now, a um, lot of pressure, you know, on this outer ring. Um, you're starting to see some in Spanaway, not as much, uh, but basically in the corridor, Issaquah, Issaquah Highlands, North Bend. This is where we're seeing a lot of the buy activity right now. If we get closer in uh, Bellevue downtown, if we get into Seattle downtown, not as much purchasing there as we have out here in the suburbs right now. So the suburbs have been going crazy and we're at 156% uh, absorption right now. Okay, uh, the thing to look at going into the high lows in the market, when the market peaks for buyers, it generally peaks in March. Inventory coming on the market starts in March and peaks out in September. We see that historically over the last five years. This year, the buyers are peaking out here in March, but we're not bringing any inventory on. So we feel that we're gonna continue to run that high until we either free up the new construction or we have some way to backfill the new uh, the first time home buyer market. Um, until that really kicks in and starts going, um, we're gonna see these large appreciations, we're gonna see this, this large gain. So uh, the good news right now is that if you're, if you're um, thinking of selling, it's a good time. Um, it, the traditional uh, forbearances are gonna stop in March. It's the government that's gonna give the extension. Um, so if you're thinking of selling right now, it's a good time to get the best appreciation. If you're a buyer, <clears throat> you may look right now, but I would give it 30 days and you'll probably have more inventory as the people in the conventional loans and the forbearances are, are coming due that we're going to see more conventional buyers probably selling out of their properties. And that's going to open up the market for that uh, spring market. So that's what we're seeing right now. Um, uh, right now, the average uh, percentage of new listings pending in the first 30 days, 91% of the market went pending. So it's just saying that there's a huge demand right now for the properties. Um, and the interest rates right now are sitting at 3.22. They've come up. Uh, I think we've had eight uh, rate increases from 275 to 3.22, which are still great rates, uh, but it's, um, it's coming up. And so that's one way to, they're trying to slow down the market too, is by raising the interest rates. Um, but right now we're at 3.22, which is still great. Um, if there's any questions you guys have about the market update, uh, spring market, you can get a hold of me, uh, Phil Rodiker, John L. Scott, 206-914-7252, and we can get a little bit more in-depth in your particular circumstances and what you're trying to accomplish, okay? Been out here for 30 years and, you know, seen a lot of stuff, and I'm just here to help. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye-bye.